Sir, there's somebody coming. Evening, Jim. Greetings fanboys and fangirls, Jared here with another review from Fanboys Forever. Today we have your very first look at the brand new 2021 Series 2 of the Bat Tech toy line from Spin Master. This kind of kicks off the second half of the product that Spin Master has planned for the year. As you can see, they are still going forward with the Bat Tech lineup and we have a brand new mech. Now, upon first glance, this sort of does look very similar to that original release that we saw early in the year. And that was also called Bat Tech Batman with tech armor. What we have is something very similar. Of course, it does appear to be mostly the same sculpt, but there is a completely new Batman figure in terms of sculpting and paintwork. So it will be interesting to look at that from this perspective. Something that is interesting to note is the presence of this little QR code up here in that you're supposed to be able to scan it and download an app that is based on the new Bat Tech line. Now, I tried it and uh, it says app does not exist. So I'm assuming that that app just hasn't been released just yet, but it will be interesting to see how these toys coincide, if at all, and how they're used together. On the back of the packaging, we just have some graphics showing you that yes, indeed, you can open this up and put the Batman figure inside of it. Interestingly enough, this Batman figure bears absolutely no resemblance to the one that is actually included. The mech itself uh, is also quite different. And at the very bottom, we can see that we have some instructions about how it opens. Right over here, we do have the barcode in case this helps anyone out. Without further ado, let's get this cracked open. And here we have Batman and his new mech outside of the packaging. So let's begin by talking about the mech itself. And here we can see that the mech is cast in sort of a translucent black plastic. It's kind of hard to tell, but you can sort of see my hand as it moves in the background there. So that's an interesting touch, and I think it goes with the kind of translucent theme that we've seen run all through the line, really. Also, there's just a few applications of paint. You can see that there's some on the shoulders there. It's that light blue. Same with the helmet portion with the bat symbol. We have these gauntlets here. And right here on these boots. On the back, you can see that there really isn't any kind of paintwork or anything like that. If this detailing looks familiar to you, it should be, because I believe that this is a complete reuse of the original release. Now, as you can see, it's almost a reverse in terms of colors. And it's funny, but out of the two, this seems to be a little more traditional, it seems, than this mostly blue, kind of almost holographic one but they do look interesting together. Coming back to this one, it has all the same functionality as that original release. You can see that it kind of opens here at the top, it opens here, and it even folds back even more, giving you all sorts of points of opening for this thing. You can see that on the inside, there's just some spots for the legs, and we'll see how the figure looks. The cape tends to be a little cumbersome once you put this guy in, because you're not exactly sure what to do with it. It ends up being kind of bunched up behind him a little bit. And once you have it all folded up, there he is. And if you're like me and didn't want to damage the cape, it ends up kind of just flying up in the background, which I guess looks okay. But here it is with the cockpit open. And depending on how far down you want to push Batman in, he can go about that low. With it closed, you can't really see the figure itself too much in there. So the translucence almost seems like a moot point to me, especially since it's such a dark translucent plastic. You can't really see anything going on in here. But I suppose it goes with their aesthetic for this particular line. He does have two, count him, two points of articulation if you don't count any of the folding mechanisms. You can see that with the arms, they can go up and down but they stop right here at these shoulder-mounted cannons. They can go about that far before it forces the suit open. However, if you were to peel this back like so, then the arms can go up quite a bit further, almost all the way back. So you just have a couple of options with that. Once again, there is no articulation at the hips whatsoever, which is kind of a shame because it does look like it was sculpted with maybe that as a possibility, but alas, they did not add it. 
If you do like this look, you can have it folded all the way down, and Batman can be wearing a pair of big boy pants. Overall, I do believe this is my favorite version so far of this mech that they've done. Looking at it compared to the others that we have had, including the Joker release and the original release over here, I do think that it stands out, and it's a very interesting thing visually. As a matter of fact, it does make this one sort of moot in a way, because this seems a little more generic, whereas this is more the color scheme that I enjoy, particularly because it reminds me a little bit of the Batwing character from the comics, so I really do like that particular color scheme. It is interesting that so far they haven't released this particular mech in the original Jim Gordon style colors that we actually saw in the comics. So it's funny that they take so much inspiration from that design, particularly with the rabbit ears up here, but they haven't actually released it in that original color scheme. I will say that these two mechs look really great together. And that leads us to the figure itself, which I would say for many Spin Master collectors such as me, that this would probably be the main reason that many of us would be interested in this set particularly because this is a completely brand new sculpt, the likes of which we have not seen before in this line. So anytime we get a completely brand new sculpt in this Spin Master line, it's always something worth talking about. Let's begin by taking a closer look at all of the details. Here on the head, we have a completely brand new Batman head sculpt. And this is interesting because it is quite a departure from what we've seen previously. With the original Spin Master Batman figure, it was very much a standard comic book Batman head. This head is quite a bit smaller, almost to the point where it's kind of questionable if it could even be the same person because the head shapes are so different. So that's interesting. And now with the newer line, this was in the first half of 2021, we've been seeing this revised Batman head sculpt. And once again, this is very different as well from this. So it's very interesting to see the progression of these heads. You can see that he does have a chin strap, some kind of techy bits there on the side of the helmet. The ears aren't very long at all. And on the back, you can see some kind of line work. And it very much reminds me of the Dark Knight uh, kind of neck brace with all the little ridges. But I do feel that overall, this is a pretty interesting brand new Batman head sculpt that they've given us. Moving on down, we do have our brand new chest armor. Now, I will say right off the bat, as it were, I'm sorry, that was a horrible joke. I love that the bat symbol is actually sculpted. Now you can see from the side, it's a little more obvious, but this is actually a raised detail from the chest armor. You can also see that the cape is sculpted right here, and then it goes into kind of the uh, chest plate on the sides. As you can actually see where these very small details, almost like spiral shapes, are right out from the bat logo. And it almost looks like kind of a little uh, attachment where the shoulder pads are actually attached to the breastplate. Down here, we actually have a very complex ab section. And I really like this armor here because as you can see, it almost looks like the Batman Beyond logo and you can almost see some bat wings going up through there. So you certainly can't say that they have skimped on sculpted detail for what could amount to kind of a younger collector's variant of Batman, but there's some really nice stuff going on right here. Particularly, I love this utility belt. Wow, uh, they've really, really done a fantastic job here. For one thing, the buckle in the middle reminds me a whole lot of Batman Beyond with the giant circle. Now the pouches themselves have that similar ring motif that we saw up here, which looked like an attach point. So I really like that. Now moving on around, we can see that the belt continues to the back where there's even kind of a clasp here where it's almost like the belt is attached. Also of note is this really cool back armor. Now you can see that it's almost like an insertion point for like a jetpack or something. There's even an arrow as if Batman built the armor as like a, hey, put this here kind of point. Also that ring motif continues on the side here and it looks equally good when we put the cape down. So I am very impressed with what has been done with the sculpting on the chest. This leads me to what they've accomplished with the shoulder here. I really love this bit of shoulder armor, and I think it also looks really natural with the breastplate. And if you put it up, it kind of attaches all the way. So I like that. So it's functional as well as looking cool. On the gauntlet, I really love these little rivets, almost like they've been bolted onto Batman's gloves. And I really enjoy these scallops as well. They kind of remind me of the Dark Knight Returns. Also, you can see that Batman has these little rings that are also on the knuckles and down here at the bends of the fingers. 
Now, this reminds me quite a bit of the gauntlet used in Batman v Superman, so I do think that is a cool little callback to that. You can see that on the biceps, Batman uh, maybe is just wearing a standard costume under the armor. We can see that there's all sorts of cool detailing on the upper thighs. Under it, you can see that Batman appears to be wearing just a standard costume, but these are the kind of bulbous pads that he's wearing, the armor. You can see that we have more of that ring motif right there, and the ridges of the pads go all the way around. It almost looks like a giant T here, but that has more to do with where the articulation cut is because there is the top. Going on down, we can see that he's got these awesome boots. Spin Master has done a lot of cool boot sculpts for Batman, but these really take the cake. Uh, there's just lots of great, intricate detail work here. And it really amazes me just how much design has gone into the boots themselves. I have to say, this is some really standout work, not just with the shin guards, but also with the boot covers and the toes of the boots here. I really like this, and I love the big platforms. It kind of reminds me of Batman in The Dark Knight Strikes Again, which the less said about the story of that, the better, but I always did like the big jack boots that he wears. Batman has some extra techie butt padding now that will protect him from getting his butt kicked. But I have to say that overall, I am very impressed with the amount of sculpting that is present here and the quality of the sculpting. It really astounds me how much excellent, very intricate detail work is put into this four inch figure. So I really do have to applaud the sculptors at Spin Master. I think this is a really, really cool Batman variant. And it's something that you can almost see Batman wearing in the comics. The coloration is probably the place where I think uh, it would probably lose some older collectors, but I really do like this particular color scheme. If any of you all have been following the Bat Tech line, then you know that it is definitely a place where you're going to see color schemes like this and Batman's apparently standard outfit for the beginning of the line. So you can see that color-wise, this new Batman fits in rather well with those variations so far. Just like last year's assortment in 2020, Batman had really three modes of armor for that line. And once again, I believe that Spin Master is replicating that same sort of process here with Batman having the kind of armored up version of his standard suit. As for accessories, he comes with none, which is really rather unfortunate because I would have loved to have seen him come with some of those blue translucent accessories. I think they actually would have looked pretty good with this figure. All right, let's go ahead and look at articulation for this guy. Uh, you can actually, for the very first time in one of these standard Batman figures, get a little bit more of a pivot going for the head, or at least on this particular sample, I can. You can see that he can do more of a kind of a head cocking motion. So I think that's interesting. It may just be my sample. You can see on the shoulders that you can hinge up. They're stopped a little by the armor, but it really not much. It can go way beyond the 90 degree mark. You can see that it goes all the way around. At the bicep, it does swivel completely. And at the elbow, we do have a single joint and it goes up to almost 90 degrees, but not quite. Nothing at the wrists, nothing at the waist, which is always a shame. I wish there was. And down here, we are able to do pretty much perfect splits. We do have thigh cuts here that cuts right into the armor, but it's not so bad because they're mostly blue, so it's not as noticeable. We can go a complete 90 degrees almost with the leg there. And there is a swivel here at the knee. However, there is nothing as usual at the ankles. So I am happy that Spin Master has managed to keep the articulation very uniform through the whole line, especially on all of their Batman figures. However, it would be nice to see a couple of additions as we are deep into the second year of the line. And for those who own the first year products Batcave, this is how the figure looks in that cave. I think it looks pretty good, especially with all the blue backgrounds there. He fits exactly as you might expect on that second level. And here we have Batman gassing up the mech for a night on the town. Now, I will say that it is kind of funny that it almost seems as though Spin Master has measured out this mech to be a perfect fit for the inside of kind of the docking bay of the cave where you would keep some of the vehicles and things. He fits within a sixth of an inch of his ears getting clear. What is funny is it's such a good fit that he kind of runs into it trying to leave, but it is a perfect fit on the interior of the cave. So if this is how you want to display him, you could even kind of put it over to the corner and have no trouble fitting in the moto tank or something like that. So I actually think that's pretty cool. And this might actually be a pretty nice looking display. Just for reference, the original cave did not include the giant penny. I actually bought this from someone on Facebook who was 3D printing these for the purpose of using in back caves. So I thought it would be a cool addition. If you're talking about a company as conscientious as Spin Master is, 
about theming all of their designs together as strictly as they have with the Bat Tech line, then you get a really nice looking visual. And I have to say, this looks fantastic once you see all the colors working together. And here he is compared alongside every other version of Bat Tech Batman, at least those from the first half of 2021 in that initial series. So I have to say that they've done a good job creating something that really does stand out from the pack with those, while borrowing from some of the color elements at least from the previous ones. I'm excited to see how else Spin Master repaints this. I do think that I would love to see him in a color scheme similar to this version right here. I think that would be pretty awesome. And just as a reference for scale, you can see that he is just barely over the four inch mark and the mech is not quite six inches. You can find this guy right now on Amazon for $15. For that price, you get both he and the mech, but no accessories. Now, I do feel that the $15 does represent a pretty reasonable value for money, as I think it's pretty cool to get a really oversized uh, mech suit and also a completely articulated standard Batman figure, and honestly, one of the nicer ones that we've gotten in this range so far. However, I do think, especially for younger fans, it would be kind of disappointing that Batman doesn't come with any accessories. Uh, particularly, I think it would have been very easy for them to have thrown in some reissues of some of the old accessories and called it a day, at least giving him something to use when outside of the Bat Mech. However, I understand it's probably the intention of the designers that the Mech itself is supposed to be Batman's weapon. That's not to say that I don't have a ton of Spin Master accessories because, you know, they never skimped on them before. So there's lots of options, especially because almost all of them would be completely compatible with this Batman figure. Overall, I do suggest the set. However, it's one of those cases where if you have the previous mech set and you're not really interested in this particular version of Batman, then you could probably skip it. However, for me, I do think that this set makes a very strong case for itself, considering that there's completely brand new tooling on this Batman with a very intricate sculpt. So it's almost worth buying a complete repaint of the exact same mech suit as before. So for me, it definitely is worth it. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I do look forward to covering what else the Spin Master has in store for us for the last half of the year. In particular, I'm looking forward to the giant Batcave playset that doubles as a huge Batman figure. So I definitely think that is a novel idea and I look forward to adding that one to the collection. I also look forward to the Deathstroke figure and many of the others that we have coming down the line. I may be doing a video very soon all about those upcoming releases, so keep an eye out for that. If you're like me and you love Spin Master Batman stuff or you're just curious about what kind of crazy stuff they're gonna come up with next, then please go ahead and give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be doing many more videos like this, and of course I have a huge backlog of other videos about pretty much every other Spin Master release. So be sure to check those out. Also follow us on Twitter at Fanboys Forever. It's a great way to keep up with us and see what's happening. And please comment down below, which one of these do you think is your favorite Batman that Spin Master has done for the Bat Tech line? Let's make it easy and give them numbers. Comment down below with the number that you think is best. All right guys, well, that'll do it for me. As always, be safe out there. God bless you and yours, and I'll see you on Fanboys Forever. Take care.